This We Conflict Zone is at the headquarters of the German Social Democrats in Berlin. Our guest is Ralf Stegner, a deputy chairman for the party. After taking a beating at the polls in September, many Social Democrats said the party needed to reinvent itself. So will the SPD go into opposition or once again grit their teeth and become Angela Merkel's junior partners? Ralf Stegner, welcome to Conflict Zone. Welcome. During and after the election campaign, your party said it would not, I repeat, not enter a coalition government against with Angela Merkel's conservatives, but uh, that's just where you are headed. Well, the point was grand coalitions all the time uh, strengthen but we know that this is the past we are now yes. today you said after the election that is right no that, so and that was the, the right point. thing to do if the voters tell you 20.5 percent for the spd minus 14 percent for the partners of the grand coalition that's their problem well that's our problem too so that the right answer on election day was to say our place is in the opposition but your party leader repeated the right. no well, and this was clear that it was now on your turn to enter into discussions, and he said no. Well, put it this way. We made a mistake, which is not very often in politics. Which one? We overestimated uh, the competing parties. We thought the Conservatives, the Greens, the Liberals would come together in a power um, coalition, as they advocated all the time, and we had But weeks... But nothing was sure. Nothing was sure, but... You didn't have a plan B? There were not too many smart journalists who told us... Uh, who, you need whose, journalists? Whose articles, you need whose journalists articles, and whose, the whose, SPD? Whose articles we haven't read, who told us that would fail? No, everybody in Germany, basically everybody thought they would come together, would build a government. Well, they but failed. you are professionals. That you was are, a mistake. You are politicians. I, Where I was the plan B? I say it was a mistake, and the mistake which is made very seldom, that you overestimate your opponents, we did so. And then we had this Monday after this uh, broke up. And I, I would say the party meetings on that Monday were what you would call in industry a Monday production. That was not a good thing to do. You want to govern a country if you are not capable of having a good production on Monday for an answer for the country, if you are governing or not? Excuse me, those parties who won the election, the Liberals and the Greens, together with the Conservatives who lost more than we did, but still had the possibility to build a majority. Those parties who wanted to govern Germany failed to do so. And we you were failed on Monday. We, excuse me, and we were surprised about that. But we, how we can took this our be? Mr. Stegner, sorry uh, that I interrupt you, really. I understand that you were surprised, but you are a professional party, you are still in the government, and you want to tell me that you were not capable after hours and hours from midnight to 10 o'clock the next day to find another answer than the no. It was unanimously. You decided again. That is true. No coalition, no Angela Merkel. That is true. We want to be in the opposition. Let's not exaggerate here. I mean, that's that what was, you said. That, yes, that was a mistake. And I say politicians make mistakes as human beings do. I think that's a fairly little mistake in comparison with what had happened just before. We talk about you. We talk about the yes, SPD. Yes, but we, we work in the real world, and as I told you, there was a mistake. Yet, we took the time after that Monday, Thursday, we had a party meeting in the uh, leadership of the Social Democratic Party and talked about this. And f also our uh, president, Frank-Walter Steinmeier, who has to be the one who holds up the Constitution, told us that you have to talk, democratic parties have to talk, so we did so. Now we're in talks with the Conservatives and we'll see what happens. Our party said uh, the only um, point that is important for us uh, is our program, uh, which but we went every into party the election would have said with. that. No, the Conservatives don't have a program at all. And the Greens were very flexible, the Liberals... You were also fled, very fle flexible, that's, that's what the voters told you. You were flexible, that's why you failed. 
No. Why only the others? Speak about you and yes. the SPD. Yeah, but Again, we're, we're Martin the real world Schultz, um, I know that you want uh, to, to talk about the other parties, no, but Martin Schultz too. keeps changing his opinions almost like others change their underwear. Well, the underwear people are more the liberals, not, not How us. How can he be trusted? I mean, in a few weeks, in a few weeks, one mistake after the other? Wasn't it the journalist who's just uh, taking questions uh, who told me just a minute ago why we weren't flexible enough to see that uh, the world has changed within hours? So it has changed, that was changed. Not, not the opinion of our um, leader has changed. But he said no, no, yes, perhaps. Reality yes. has changed. No, Real, yes, reality what a reality change. change. Germany is Germany. This is the yes. reality. You are a very but, important party still. Yes, but the Conservatives, the Greens, the Liberals have failed. That Nothing is the change. New. That is the change. And now we uh, are the ones who have to take responsibility, which we will do, other than the Liberal Party. Oh, comparison. the Liberal also started coalition talks. Yeah, but they failed and they went into the opposition. So now. that means you will not fail and in a few weeks we will have a grand we coalition. Will, we will see what happens. We but talk that's what about, you just said. No, we talk about program. There are different ways to take responsibility. One way would be to build a coalition. Another way would be to tolerate a minority government. Which will mean new way, elections. I'm sorry, Miss Merkel told you very frankly and openly, she is not negotiating about something else we than a great coalition. We don't Very live, open. We don't live in a dictatorship. No. But, but we live in democracy and parties have to talk with each it other. It will be the same like with a no, no and yes. If one part is telling you, I am negotiating to build a new grand coalition, what is then the reason why you appear? If one person is very flexible, then it's really not Martin Schulz, but Angela Merkel. If you look at her leadership being chancellor since 2005, I don't know any other person who has been as much flexible So you don't believe her Angela that she <coughs> doesn't want to rule a minority <coughs> government? Well, she may not want to, but we will have to talk about different ways to cooperate. One of it is a coalition government, another is changing minor ma majorities, a third one would be a minority government, a fourth could New be... New elections? Uh, New elections can only be the last resort. Yeah, but if it will be a minority government and Angela Merkel doesn't want to have this, we will have new elections. Do you me. think that you are in the position? Parties. Do you think that you are in the position to win more or to lose more with a new election? We don't want to have new elections because you Why? can't. You can't tell voters vote as long. You just vote and vote and long until the point when we are content with the result. That cannot be. That's not the concept of democracy. Voters have uh, decided, and now it's our part to take responsibility, but still there are different ways. And put it this way, there was one thing that happened on this Sunday we just referred to. The whole state, whole Germany saw nothing works in Germany without the social democracy. So that's what happened. That's a very interesting interpretation. I think so. I think but that so. means that the social democrats have now to show their faces. That's why a very clear question. No grand coalition? That's something you can exclude? No. Um, <clears throat> our party convention decided in a democratic way, I think with 80% majority, that they want us to negotiate with the Conservative Party in an open way about our programs, Everybody is, uh, about our policies. In an open way. And open way means that there are different ways of outcome in the terms of how we cooperate. So, I want only to learn, till now, and this was not bad for this country, parties came together, negotiated, had a compromise and agreement, yes. and it was a coalition. Why do you believe that you need for the first time alternatives in the way how to govern if you accept uh, the, the contents for the next year? If I could give you one reason, which might not be uh, an unimportant one given that in democracy the people decide. The people said, for the partners of this grand coalition, minus 14 percent. This is the highest loss for a coalition so in the no, history of the country. So no in the grand history coalition. Of the so you exclude. No, but it's not the you most likely. Me, but you it's are giving me an likely. argument. You are giving me an argument, which was also your argument. No, no. Now you try to explain a little bit yes and a little bit no. no. I just say we're talking about contents, and the question which kind of cooperation we choose in the end. That depends on how far we get in those negotiations. And I'm very uh, 
skeptical about a new grand coalition because it strengthens the right wing. Uh, one of the bad consequences, for instance, would be that the leader of the opposition in the German Bundestag wouldn't be Mr. Lindner, wouldn't be Mr. Özdemir, wouldn't be Mr. Uh, Mrs. Wagenknecht, but would be Mr. Gauland, the right wing populist who would be opposition leader in the Bundestag. Let, let's this talk is about nothing that. we want to have. Uh, let's talk, fair enough. But before we're talking about that, uh, the head of your party's youth wing, Kevin Kühnert, one of the big SPD hopes, said, quote, I didn't join this party to see it keep running into the same wall time and again. Is that where you are leading them? I can understand this position. I have three sons, all three users, member of the youth organization of the SPD, and they tell me, don't go into the Grand Coalition, and I'm not in favor of doing so. But you, could, you can't exclude it because, as I said, you should not go to the, back to the voters, but you have to work with the results. And that is a difficult thing to do. And we see what happens when we negotiate with Mrs. Merkel and Mr. Seehofer, where we get at. Join, after join the me for an experiment. I take now your quotes very seriously. And this also the quotes of your chairman. Your chairman Martin Schulz said, becoming the opposition is the only chose choice because, quote, we, the Social Democrats, are in a very bad state. We have to reinvent the party. Is that not longer true? That is true. So if this is true, and the conclusion was, the only choice is opposition. But we're not in the, we're in the real world, and not, all, not always things happen as you wish them to happen. But you are still in a... Yeah, that's true. That is it's true. Irrespons it's irresponsible to be yeah, now... Yeah, but see what happened is the other parties but failed. You but you are still the same party. Is it yeah, responsible is for a party who is uh, themselves saying, we are in a very bad state, we have to reinvent us, we don't have any other I choice? I will tell you one thing. Willy Brandt said, first comes the country, then comes the party. But, that is but, the Social Democrat but, who said this. Yes, I Willy agree. Brandt. I agree. And no party, but it's, it, but no a party, party compared with the but SPD, a, but a, took more responsibility in the history of our yes, country than the Social today, Democrats. A party which is part declaring itself that they are not capable of doing it. Martin Schulz and the majority of the SPD leaders repeatedly said, we need four years of opposition to renew our principles, That's our content, it, our priorities, yes, our much, personnel. Right. This is the chance you're for success. Right. You're so right. It is much you easier. It's, it is much easier to take this reform process in a time when you're in opposition. But it's not our choice. It's the other parties who failed, and we have responsibility for this but country, and we always took responsibility for yes, the country. Yes, but there is another responsibility. If I'm not capable of doing something, it's my responsibility to say I'm sorry. I will tell, no. you, I will tell you one thing. You said compared it. With the not the opposition. Compared with the conservatives, we are very capable of... Uh, uh, I'm uh, very sorry, but uh, do you really think this is the argument? I take you seriously. Yes. I listen to you. I listen to Mr. Schulz. Yeah. And if a party, it's not the CDU who told that about you. You told but that see, about yourself. But see, we are not dry swimming here. We are in the water. But we you, have to do you are something. saying that you can't swim anymore. No. You said that we you can't that, swim well, anymore. I, I um, published uh, a piece where I talked I about... I speak about your party leader. Yes. He said I, we can't swim. I, I published a piece where I said we have a lot of reforms to do. We have a building that needs to be rebuilt from the basement to the top. That's what I wrote. Yet the fundament is still valid and it's still good. And it's easier to do this reform process if you're in opposition. But it's not our choice. It has it been the choice. choice. It, it is has, still your excuse choice. me, you it has been the choice it. of other parties to fail. So new elections. This you see, that's my point. New I want, election I want, means the right uh, wing will if be you, strengthened. If, Ah, and that's the reason that democracy will not continue? No. Is it better that an SPD is in a coalition which is saying, we are not capable of, is this not helping the right-wing party? Let me tell you one thing. I studied history. So I know that every quote you could find is always said under certain circumstances. Now, the circumstances now are that everybody in Germany, every journalist, every voter, Everybody saw the Conservatives, the Green Liberals, they can't do it. 
So the Social Democrats have to do it. No, nobody's obliged to you. We are not obliged to go into a grand coalition. That's why we're talking about. Okay, so you didn't <coughs> like that so either, no. but I'll tell you so, that. So let's, let's, we talk let's, about okay, different so let's ways of talk, cooperation. La, let's talk how seriously we can take yes. the party. During the election campaign, Schulz accused Merkel of being quote, an attack on democracy because she suppresses a debate about Germany's future. Now the SPD cannot vote for her or can vote for her? Well, I would like to have an absolute majority in Parliament. I don't have this. So we have to cooperate with other parties. We don't choose their party leaders. They do that themselves. And that's their thing to do it. By the way, when they lose power, they will replace her faster than we can see. I, I'm pretty sure, look at the Bavarians, the sister party, they do that the same, th same way. You had a very um, important argument and you mentioned it. If the SPD is really entering into a new coalition, the AFD is the opposition leader. After the election you said, this is a duty for Germany that this can't happen. So now again, if it is a perhaps coalition, they will be the opposition leaders. That's one of the reasons why. I, that's why, and one of the reasons I don't like that. But as you see, life is not black and white, and sometimes the choices you have are not wonderful and bad, but bad and very bad. Sometimes those are the choices in life you have. Your you argument have. is like this: we don't have any choice. My argument is. Everybody has always a choice. That is true. Yes and no is still, is still possible in Germany. So don't argue as you do that you are changing all your no, no, opinions no, no, no. because no, no, Germany no, no, no. is wanted, is ten, waiting for Ten you. minutes ago, Mr. Friedman, I told you that there's not only grand coalition but also minority government. But you don't exclude the great coalition, Mr. Stegner. Different possibilities. But you don't exclude, so it is one of the possibilities and if it is one of the possibilities, I think that the other arguments are not as valid as it sounds. I don't think so because we're living in the real world. I don't want a grand coalition. I can't exclude it. I'm skeptical about this, more skeptical than other people in my party. I'm skeptical that this would be the best way to do, but we will see what happens in negotiation. And I'll tell you another thing. If we don't come together at all, we will have new elections. I don't seek them. I don't like them. I think it's not a good thing to do. But if you very, try very hard, and then at the end you say, well, we didn't come together in the health system, in the politics towards Europe, in the politics towards pensions, in the politics about good labor, affordable housing, uh, Martin um, Schulz, that there is another key point. Martin, taxes, all may, those may I add, Martin Schulz said there is another key point, Europe. He said one of the most important topics for the SPD in government is Europe yes. and the creation of a United States of Europe. Yes. Is, this, uh, is uh, that also your perspective? Yes. It's, it will be 100 years ago in 2025 when the Social Democrats have decided on their party convention in Heidelberg 1925, we want to have the United States of Europe. And oh, that's interesting. It should happen by 2025, just eight years away, United States of Europe? Maybe that's technically spoken, that's very difficult. But let me talk about how we can uh, really excite young people no, no, I'm for, sorry. A, for, for a thing I'm sorry. against nationalism, yes. uh, I, I against agree. going no, back to the bad, I, the bad I, times I of agree, Europe. I understood, but no, you are very concrete, and I mean, this is fantastic. A political party is very concrete, so let's stay in this point. 25, the United States of Europe. This was not something said as a vision for the next century. It is a vision. So, 20? 100 years after are we decided you, that for the first time. Are you capable to organize this in eight years? I and with know. whom? I don't know. We'll see. Let's take President Macron, the French president. He doesn't want the United States what of Europe. What he wants is to move Europe forward. But it other is not the United States of Europe. Other countries want to move Europe back. Look at Poland or Hungary or others. Great Britain. You, we just have the whole Brexit stuff, which is difficult enough. I think it's a wonderful idea of Macron to move forward. Is it responsible to say we, the SPD, if we are in a government, will fulfill 
in 2025 the United States of Europe. All grand, very grand challenges and fighting for a better Europe in times where we have Trump and Putin and Erdogan and all those guys uh, fighting but for that United was not Europe. Statement. But that's, that's no, the, the political statement vision. statement is another one. The statement is if a state, a member state, is not capable or doesn't want to approve this, it will automatically have to leave the EU. This is a very interesting uh, matter how to uh, fulfill a vision. Well, Alone, it's... will you be the only country, Germany? I don't think so. We're talking about going forward with Are France. Are you allowed to throw out other people, we're other states? We're not talking about throwing out yeah, somebody. Don't approve, it will automatically have to well, leave the EU. Well, Europe will have to decide one day whether Europe wants to be strong and wants to be a prosperous uh, continent with peace uh, compared with all the others who are rising, China and India and Brazil and all the others, or if we want to go back to nationalistic concepts as we see them in Austria now, as we see them in Poland, as we see them in Hungary and in other places where all those right-wing nationalists are rising up. So I find it wonderful that Mr. Schulz says we don't want to have the Europe of Schäuble and Merkel. You know what? We want to have a Europe that's united. I will that's repeat united. my question. You because can repeat it, is, it as long as you want to. My answer. answer will be the same. And my question is, and I will repeat it, because it's a very fundamental uh, statement. Martin Schulz calls for European constitutional treaty that would then to be put to the member states and those that that's don't democracy. approve it will automatically have to leave the EU. This is the quote of your chairman. Um, what is his attitude towards Europe that he is saying, who is throwing out whom? Excuse me, Ma Martin Schulz is one of the who most is enthusiastic Europeans. He's one of the most enthusiastic European. I who know. Who is throwing out whom? We're talking whom? about saving Europe. Europe is on the way down, as you can see by the Brexit, as you can see by all those right-wing nationalists. But you can leave, Ger Germany can leave the EU if you don't like the EU, but why it's others not, have to leave? It's not talking about who likes the EU or not, we're talking about Europe as the fundament for peace and prosperity. That's what we're talking about. But this is not don't peace. Don't you see the dan danger that's it's happening right now? It's not peace. Who is throwing out whom? He is talking about the Populations voting in a democratic way. That you just but quoted if that. You you just be, quoted that. If you would be French, yes. and it's possible that the majority of the French will not approve that, then I quote again don't approve it, will automatically have to leave the EU. French will have automatically to leave the EU. The French, That's what Mr. Schulz the French is saying. We will vote for Europe because Mrs. Le Pen is not the one who's leading Europe, but rather France, but rather Macron does. It will be a new constitutional treaty. And again, that's the majority vision. of the that's Netherlands... A vision. That's a vision of, a, of an important social yeah, democratic I leader. I understood, I understood. But yes. my problem is, will automatically have to leave. Why? We're who talking who about is deciding that? Excuse me, the point that we now have Europe is in danger. We're talking about a very dangerous development in the whole world, in, in Europe. And I think we need people like Macron or Martin Schulz who have a vision of a better Europe, a prosperous, peaceful Europe against nationalistic concepts elsewhere. But you are capable Otherwise, of... Otherwise, we don't you situation. react now? Why don't you react against the Hungarian, against we Poland? Don't. You and the SPD, Germany. Excuse me, the, the SPD criticizes that a lot. Mr. Seehofer invites Orban to his party conventions to Munich. But still, it's Poland, one of the party families. Still, family Poland parties of is Mrs. In. Merkel. You can't throw him out. No. And you can't throw out Hungary. I, I think it's, it's an over exaggeration just to uh, f uh, focus on this throwing out somebody. The point Martin Schulz makes, together with Macron, is we have to go on with Europe with a better Europe if we want to save prosperity and peace. And I think that's a wonderful concept. And we would see how our young people in Germany think about that if that's taken to the voters in Germany. I hope we meet in 2025. And as I understood, it will be the United States Europeans of Europe. <laughs> right? What are you doing if the Germans don't vote for Europeans? See, the Social Democrats have fought for ideas for a long time. And sometimes it took longer than we thought. Voting rights for men and women was took longer mistake, than we thought. Was it a mistake to add on the idea the United States of Europe 
2025? And was it a second mistake to say that what we just talked about? I don't think that's a mistake. Having grand goals is a but way is to a come forward. It is concrete. People understood that, I think, ah, in the okay. right way. So, so I have to interpret it in the future, the quotes isn't that of the always, SPD. Isn't that always the way with all politicians? I can't interpret it 2025. This is an objective date. I don't know. A lot of people, I know. A lot of people said, a lot of people said German unification would never come and a half year later it was there. That's sometimes not the comparation. Change, sometimes things change faster than we have the fantasy of. So, you may condemn Martin Schulz for his optimism. I don't. I think it's wonderful that he has this optimism. And it's much better than doing nothing and sleeping like Mr. Schäuble and Angela Merkel. Mr. Stegner, thank you very much on being in conflict. So, oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> What's a pleasure.